Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I want to have a look at some modded weapons, both handheld and ship-mounted. Now, I often get a number of questions about different sorts of weapons, people asking me to recommend weapons for their worlds, and it is kind of a bit of a specific topic for whatever world you're trying to create or whatever role-play environment that you're working on, because some weapons from some universes, such as this M41 Pulse Rifle, are not going to fit in to your sort of modern day present sort of M4 aspect where this M4 by Sanchin is going to be a lot better. So we've got two weapons packs here. We've got Sanchin's M4 that's only been recently released and we've also got Sekton's large weapons pack as well as his M41 pulse rifle. And I'm going to show you some of these today as well as heading outside and looking at some bigger weapons for your larger ships. Now first off let's have a look at his first weapon by Sekton. Now this is a sort of modern based assault rifle, it has a underneath sort of pump action sort of solution by the look of it, as well as a lot of nice sort of textures and shapes and it handles just like a standard assault rifle. So we're back on the range to actually have a look at this more alien designed of assault rifle. Now it has some nice curves and some nice textures, but how will it perform? Now let's run down into the tunnel and start popping out some of these targets. Now the first thing you're going to notice is the sheer power of this weapon and how fast it can actually cut through light armor as well as heavy armor. But there is one extremely valuable sort of point, the iron sights. Now the iron sights are pretty hard to use on this weapon because they're kind of non-existent due to that there's a sight blocking the way as you're aiming down, but I'm sure that's going to be developed further. And as you can see, we're cutting through the light armor and on the next target, I'm going to actually attempt to cut through the heavy armor and to show you how effective that is. We can see we're actually cutting through that and we're slicing it away rather easily. Let's get that yellow out, cut it out of the way and reach this final target and move on up. Now due to this damage being a little bit higher, it means that you're going to kill players a lot faster. And in turn, I think that's a little bit better. The standard assault rifle tends, tends to take quite a while to kill people. Now moving on here, we also have the pulse rifle or the M41. And you may have seen this from the Alien series of films. A very nice rifle, it's got an underbarrel shotgun. Sadly, that's not implemented into the game. But we'll have a look at that on the shooting range and how it performs. So let's have a look at the pulse rifle on the range. Now, as we can see, we've got that iconic weapon with a beautiful green upper body, that shotgun underneath the barrel. Sadly, doesn't function, but maybe one day we'll see some sort of pump action shotgun effect that we can switch to as a secondary. Anyway, let's run the course. And as you can see, the course has been created by one of the community members, and I'll add a link in the description. It's got over 20 pop-up targets that are really exciting, and if you're like me and I like a little bit of practice, it's definitely something to do. Now, the iron sights on the pulse rifle are rather good, but the only problem is they are rather narrow and they take up quite a lot of your screen, and when you're running, you're going to notice a lot of bobble like this. Anyway, let's run the target course. So we're going to try to remove all the yellow centers before we proceed on. We're going to try to do it as fast as possible. Now the pulse rifle replaces the standard assault rifle that some people might think is a little bit of a problem. But for me, I don't think that's a problem at all because it's a nice weapon. And in some cases, I'd rather have this over the standard one, even though it is from a certain movie. And as you're using it, you do feel like you kind of restricted to items from that movie and that sort of system of that sort of universe, you could even say. But at the same time, you've got this really nice sort of rapid fire machine gun and the sound itself allows it to feel a lot more better, a lot more effective as we run in between these targets. And we've quickly managed to eliminate the whole tunnel of death scenario. Let's move on to the next weapon. Now moving on, we have the actual big Beretta style 50 cal. We've got the USMC sort of markings as well as the Bravo and the upper echelon. So it was a very sort of Call of Duty looking rifle that especially the USMC and the arrow it reminds me of it very heavily so as you can see we've got it here on this small target range and we're going to take some shots at a different target now something that's good about this scope is we can actually see down it and aim at a target quite precisely so as you can see we eliminated and took the head pretty much clean off that target we've not got any magnification but we can still put quite a precise shot and you can see we've got another hole in there and we'll whack another shot in here now the reload time or as you can say, as it chambers the next round, is quite long, so you have to take that in consideration. But you are getting quite a high damage weapon, so that is very valuable indeed. So you can see we've not done too much damage at all to the heavy armor. We'll try another heavy armor target over here. Once again, not much damage at all, but against the light armor, it is really devastating. It can really put that hole straight through that. And this means you could probably eliminate a pilot's cockpit within one or two shots, or maybe even three or take out a key part of a pilot's ship such as an engine bay or something 
rather important. So one more headshot, and we'll head back to have a look at the next weapon. Moving on, we have the M4 Assault Rifle by Sekjin. And now, this is just a nice round weapon. I was waiting for someone to build this. There is a few interesting features, and it looks like there is going to be quite a lot of development left to do on this, just due to the black, the textures, and the shades that are probably going to be brought for the forward. Now, we're back at the range to actually have a look at the M4. Now, this M4 is an iconic weapon. It's used by many military forces around the world, and now it's going to be used in space. So the weapon itself performs just like the assault rifle, except it's got that much deeper sort of thud to it that really emphasizes each shot. And just look at them iron sights. They're really precise, even more precise, you could say, than the original assault rifle that seems to be based on a G36 sort of model of weapon itself. So you've got them simple pop-up iron sights, and it means you can eliminate tanks really fast and really effectively. And you can even do that at quite some sort of long range. It's not got the cutting power of the earlier assault rifle I sort of showed you. But the ability with this one is going to be a weapon that looks nice, is rather effective, as well as it being that sort of time period if you enjoy a weapon from the past being brought into this sort of futuristic environment such as space. Anyway, let's move on. Now finally, we have the rocket launcher. Now this rocket launcher looks like it's a whole complication of different weapons. It's got some sort of pump action arm by the look of it. We've got some loading thing on the side. And I guess it's some sort of pump action loads the shells into the chamber. But exactly how it's loading a rocket of this side in that method may be a little bit hard to understand. But the basic function is the same. It's going to be useful to shoot down ships if you need that sort of function. So we're on the shooting range now to actually have a look at the rocket launcher. Now, this is quite a fun weapon to have a mess around with. Once again, it is plagued with the iron sights of the other weapon, but what it does profess is a very powerful one-shot rocket sort of system. Now, the idea of this is you can actually power your way through an area, possibly killing yourself with the blast, like I'm doing here as I get stuck on many of these targets and actually destroy a lot of the course and even get pushed out of the way by some of the targets themselves if they fly past it and take it out behind. But this is ideal for infantry against ships while they're manning a station. But the only problem is that the warheads, the actual rockets, cost very little. That in turn leads to this thing being used as possibly a very easy troll sort of weapon, since the rockets are cheap and the weapon itself is not very hard to build. So let's move on a little. So let's move on to the small ship weaponry. Now these two weapons on the right are designed by the Ninja Pirate and we have the Gatling gun for small ships that's designed by Nigo. It comes in the same pack as that Gatling turret. A really nice weapon and I'll show you them. Now I built these small little cockpits with not too much thrust just so you can see the recoil. Now first off let's hop within the auto cannon, pick our target, that Henry model over there and we'll start firing there. Now we've got quite a bit of recoil on this but at the same time we've got a weapon that's just really interesting to sort of fire. It's got a standard sort of auto cannon as well as these light like, beams of of sort of fire going off into space from the actual sort of tracer of the round and we've got high penetration value but not too much explosive type of damage as you can see here we're firing and we're recoiling back and down quite heavily so let's move on to the scatter cannon now the scatter cannon is something that i think is just absolutely cool it relies on just aiming at the target and it fires in this sort of, night, sort of neat tight group and then spreads out the further it gets away. And I can imagine pursuing something with something like this. You can see how the rounds are spreading out and they're hitting the target up close really well. Now, if we compare that to something like our auto cannon, the auto cannon is going to be a lot more accurate, but the rate of fire is a lot slower. And at range, the auto cannon is going to struggle to hit these longer range targets just due to the recoil and having to be corrected. And there we go. Now we head back over to our scatter cannon, and this is going to struggle even more. It's going to have less recoil, but at the same time, it's going to be spraying all over the shot, putting rounds in all different places on the target and around the target. So this is pretty good if you have a mass number of these and you have the ammunition to produce them. But this is just beautiful to watch and watch the rounds scatter around the target itself. It not do too much damage though, but over time, the more rounds you actually land on the target, the more damage you're going to do. Now let's finally move on to our beautiful small ship laser cannon. Now I do really like the sound of this, so just listen carefully. It's got this sort of like nippy sort of laser cannon that you can imagine being on some sort of turret that you've got mounted on the back of your small ship. And it drills away pretty much very, very, very actually similar to the Gatling gun itself. Very good at long range and there's not much, too much recoil at all. It also has this really nice laser beam. You can imagine tracers coming up behind your ship from this cannon as you're moving along. I mean, not as cool as the scatter gun, 
but this works a lot more accurate, a lot more beneficial. Now, I've showed you quite a lot of weapons mods today, and if you plan on building a world, building a server, or implementing any of them into your roleplay sort of environment, hopefully I've given you a little bit of insight into them, as well as showing them off. And I'd like to thank all the guys who have actually shown their mods and their creations today. You've done an absolutely great job. I'd like to thank you for watching. All the links will be in the Steam Workshop, and they've got links in my description below. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.